thank you for taking the time to listen to something that is extremely important for prospective college students or those currently enrolled. Today, I'm going to present to you a checklist which in a time of need could possibly be the factor that saves a life. My name is Elizabeth Krieger and I'm a proud part of the college onenet team. I joined this organization as an incoming freshman in college who was exposed to an issue that grasped my attention. This issue is one in which I believe should be put on everyone's radar for it has gone unaddressed for too long. I'm here today to advocate for an increase in college safety. The inspiring force behind college onenet that I've had the privilege to work alongside is Ninette Hausman. She is an incredibly strong and resilient advocate for college safety. Ninette experienced something that is every parent's waking nightmare, the loss of a child. This tragedy happened three years ago when she lost her son, Corey, to a preventable accident at Boulder University. Corey fell while skateboarding on a pedestrian pathway. He was talking when he arrived at the local hospital near his campus, but sadly passed away within seven hours of his arrival. There were many upsetting details which will be spared in this video, but to think that it could happen to Corey, it could likewise happen to any of us. I was stunned upon hearing that Corey's death was the third de student death on campus that semester starting just 15 days earlier. The research that College 911 has discovered in the last three years is that the college scene with large groups of teenagers whose brains are not fully yet developed, increased academic expectations and new social pressures can be the perfect storm for preventable accidents. I say this not to install fear in my prospective college students, but instead raise awareness and educate them upon the small actions which we can take to save a life. Hi, I'm Meriden Pangu. When transitioning to college, it is incredibly important to think about what would happen if you, a friend, or a fellow student needed emergency care. Many students would assume that colleges have top-notch emergency plans and care in place. However, what happens can vary from college to college. It is important to take extra precautions when dealing with medical emergencies at college. Students should take steps to ensure their optimal safety and medical care while at school, which can be hundreds if not thousands of miles away from home. Typically, college students are above the age of 18, which means that they have all the rights and responsibilities of an adult in the eyes of the medical community as well as the college. On the flip side, this can mean that many of the parents' rights to intervene during medical care are terminated. The landing page of college911.net website contains a downloadable medical emergency checklist. These suggestions are logical, essential, and immediately available. This is something which at first glance, prospective college students could disregard as unnecessary. However, following these steps on the list could make the difference between life and death in an emergency situation. Hi, my name is Kate Smith, and today I will be sharing with you some simple behavioral changes and actions that you can take in order to ensure a higher degree of safety for yourself in a college environment. First, you should complete and have available on your and your parents' phone a medical power of attorney, granting your parents control over your medical care if necessary. These forms are easy to fill out and are downloadable from the state website. Most states just require that signatures be notarized. You do not have to hire an attorney. These forms should also be filed with your university. The reasoning behind this minimally time-consuming process is that your medical rights information would become easily accessible. In an emergency situation, the minutes you save by having all of this information accessible could make all the difference in the world and impact a life or death decision. Next, everyone is aware of the Health app which comes pre-downloaded on iPhones. However, many are unaware of how important this app could be in an emergency situation. You should complete your medical profile and set your phone to third-party access. Both of these actions could be done with the click of a button. This will allow ER staff to access your phone without a passcode. It's also important to establish your emergency contacts, people who you feel comfortable being notified if you were in an emergency situation. The next and possibly most important step includes some behavioral modifications that revolve around the phone and should be used when calling emergency services. Something that I was personally unaware of before getting involved with college911.net was that in an emergency situation, it is crucial that the phone used to call emergency services is that of the injured person. Upon first instinct, many people would be tempted to use their own phone to call for emergency services. However, it is important to first call using the phone of the student in need of help. For example, if your friend is in need of help, the phone call should be coming from their phone, or if you're in need of attention, then the phone call should be coming from your own phone. 
the key benefit of doing it in this way is that if emergency services are requested from your phone, it will automatically notify your emergency contacts and send them your exact location. This can be incredibly beneficial because your trusted adults will be in the know. They will be able to respond and ensure that you receive the best care possible. All these precautions could be the matter of life or death. And my team and I strongly recommend that you take a few moments to talk with your parents, set up your health app, and establish a list of emergency contacts. I know that a lot of information was discussed in this video, so please feel free to reach out to Nanette at college911.net if there are any questions or if you would like to get involved. We are an all-volunteer organization trying to help students and families prepare for the transition into college and educate them on the next steps in order to optimize their safety and prepare for medical emergencies on or off campus.